Okay, just a quick recap video on Ergo, Ergomed, UK small cap, growth stock. So I did a pretty in-depth video on, on entering this trade. Uh, it would have been, you know, first of the seventh area. It's on YouTube. It will be linked at the end of this video. You might want to just go and watch that video first if you you're interested in how I took the trade, the reasonings, the risk management, what I trade towards, you know, the, you know, I trade towards growth, the best growth I can find at this point in time. So another thing, I'm trying to capture the primary trend move. So I'm sitting through, through normal market corrections on in growth stocks. I'm trying to ride big trends. I will just highlight a couple of articles I've done for ShareScope. I've just dropped one last week, Lessons from the Trend, Part 1, Breakouts. So it talks about the sort of what I look for in a breakout and, uh, you know, just goes it goes in depth on a few things. The first article I did, you can link it from this page, is about just defining what a primary trend is. You know, primary trend sits through corrections secondary trend is like the steps in a primary trend so you know those will really help you out sort of understanding my style so a little recap on ergo entered the trade added to the trade as well very early I've added to this trade twice on the journey. So basically I'm feeding my winners and you know, the ones that don't work out will all just be a minus one on the account. And uh, basically once this is running, I put it in what I call trend mode. And what does trend mode mean to me? Well, trend mode mode means Yes, I took the trade on the best fundamentals, the, you know, the growth stats I like to trade towards. And, you know, at some point it's going to, well, I'll kind of jump into that. As soon as it moves out of the base, I call it the here comes the story, story zone. Because as soon as this thing starts to fly out of the sort of base, a lot of stories will get written about it. You will get blog posts, you will get magazine opinions, you will get newspaper opinions, you will get Twitter opinions, you will get bulletin board opinions on why it should or shouldn't go up and, you know, value opinion. You All this is what you've got to deal with as a growth investor on the trend time you know if you're an investor in growth stocks you're going for price appreciation um the big no-no for someone who's going for price appreciation is to have a reason to sell the stock as it's rising you know it's at the end of the day as a trend follower you have to trail an order behind you to sell the stock once it uh, runs out of steam but you know the, the big problem would be inventing reasons to sell it early. So I don't pick bottoms as as you've seen that. I'm I have to wait for the the stocks to emerge after the market crash. So coming into the market crash, at trading basis we were running a lot of profits. And the market crash pulled the the profits from 2020 they pulled they pulled the account negative put me into cash before the market crashed before the market crashed i actually was in cash and i actually tried to nibble at a few more i nibbled at three trades and then i got unwound out of those i've said i'm taking these three trades you know if the market you know nimble nibbles if the market rolls over again i'm out of them and then the market crashed and it took three months for stocks to actually we knew exactly which the strong stocks were because it's really easy to find them in a bad market but this was one of them 
corky stock it went straight back to highs and then it started to digest and move and this is my setup you know I, I'm into buying base breakouts or or retracers and uh, I'm not buying retracers on market crashes you know so it's not my game to pick bottoms or pick tops my game is just to jump on board when the, the stock is leaving the station and this was the day it left the station I'm just putting a little bit more process on the big picture on this because you know basically as soon as we buy this stock I want to add to the stock I don't want to be selling it to protect break even or anything like that I want to add to the best ones because over the next hundred of these you know if I add to my best ones they will be the huge winners on the account not all of them will work out you might have a big profit and, and then you give back half of that profit overnight you know you're up 100 percent and then it halves in price you know you give back half the this could literally half in price overnight and it would be a scratch trade for me is, is basically what i'm trying to trying to get across there but i have to deal with all all these psychological sort of problems you know the, the best problem to have is the big winner and that is what you need you know you you want to you want to be dealing with a stock what's heavily weighted on the portfolio because that means you're doing something right um this isn't our best, biggest winner this year it's just it's just one what's trundling along fine for us um so it's doing everything i want it to do it's acting very nicely anywhere in the right hand side you know would be normal stair stepping higher at the moment this thing is just doing its thing as soon as it moves out of here there will be newspaper articles all you know everything written about it i have to just ignore all that and just know that i am trailing my correct sell order behind it and at the end of the day end of the year you know that is how you're going to catch some some nice movers on the primary trend so you know it's up 100 percent for us plus 120 percent out of the base you know what can i say it is what it is we will just uh, keep chipping away at the right hand edge um if you're interested in what we do at trading bases i run the end of day screens for the uk and the us every day and i do an hour screening session every evening at seven o'clock as well so i probably put out three to four hundred hours of content a year and I try to do something and what I'm trying to do with these videos is something what nobody else does out there process in real time you know we've always done it in real time talk about the process why I'm taking the trades and uh, you know we're just revisiting a few this week so there it is Ergo, fantastic